so today we're going to be doing a collection tour video which is something we haven't done in like forever like actually forever um so i'm really, really excited to do this uh because we've got a brand new house um brand new pony room and as you're gonna see model horses everywhere in the whole house um, but also because I've now had the opportunity to unbox about over 10 years worth of boxed models that have just been literally piling up. Um, and on Sunday, I actually unboxed 91 model horses, <laughs> which is a lot. Um, and I've got them on display. So even if you've watched our previous collection tour videos, um, as well as obviously all the new models I've had since then, um, there are some old models that I've unboxed. So we're gonna get to see those as well. So this is gonna be one of the first vi collection tour videos that's almost a complete collection tour. Although there are still quite a few things like copper foxes and stuff like that that live in their boxes. So you'll just get to see their boxes. Um, we are going to be going around the whole house um, and this is going to be quite a long video uh, because I have such a large collection I can't tell you everything about every model firstly because I can't remember it and secondly because we will literally be here all day if there are any models you see and you want to know more about them you want to say well what's that I don't understand ha ah! um, just put it in the comments and I will do another video with a response to like everyone's requests um, just make sure you're as accurate as possible in your description. So put a timestamp and put a really accurate description as to the model you want, um, because otherwise I won't have a clue what you're talking about. Um, I do apologise for the state of my house before we before you see it. Um, we are still not 100% unpacked or sorted um, from moving, and it obviously hasn't been decorated or anything like that. We literally moved during uh, lockdown, um, and it was all a bit chaotic, um, and it still is very, very chaotic. Um, the final thing to note is you're going to see a lot of shelves and um, you probably already can see that look quite wobbly or wonky so um our house i mean it's not that old it's only about 500 years old um but when you live in an older house um, none of the floors are even none of the walls are even nothing is even so stuff might look wonky when it's actually even and stuff may just be wonky because the floor is wonky um but everything's fine i'm <laughs> i'm reliably insured by Brendan that everything is fine and he has put some extra supports you'll see some really weird extra supports on shelves in odd places to try and accommodate for the fact that literally everything is wonky uh, it's also very hard to put shelves up because our house is made of stone um, and if you live in a stone house it is actually quite hard to attach things to walls because stones are quite heavy so without further ado let's talk a little bit about what you're gonna see today you can already see some of it how exciting um, so I've been collecting model horses for about 17 or 18 years, 17 to 18 years. I have a collection of about 2,000 pieces. I don't know exactly how much. I know it's over 2,000, um, but I don't know the exact number. It's a mixed collection, so you're going to see pretty much every make, brand and model um, as you look around the collection. It is not exclusively Brea, it is not exclusively this or that, you're going to see everything. Um, as well as being a collector, I also run a Brea dealership called Chestnut Ridge. Um, I'm a customiser, um, a tack maker, I do everything and I also live show and I host um, a huge number of live shows, I've hosted tons and tons of live shows um, and I judge at shows as well. So you'll see a lot of horses that are collection pieces, a lot of horses that are show pieces um, and you'll also just see stuff that I just own because I have a genuine hoarding issue <laughs> and this is how I channel it. It's not hoarding, it's collecting. Right, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start our collection tour in um, the pony room because that seems like the best place to start. So I'll do like a little pan, a little pan round of the pony room. Um, so if you follow me um, on social media, you'll know that and be able to see this is obviously a lot smaller than the old pony room. So um, I would say over 50% are in here, but a large number in the rest of the house, particularly things like my classics and stuff like that. And you'll get to see them later. Um, I do have some empty shelves. So these were my last minute bod shelves that I made Brendan put at the weekend because I ran out of space. So he just found these <laughs> in the shed and put them up. Um, so that means that I do have, as you can see, lots of empty shelf space. Um, and my mum is coming up to meet me in my garden on Friday and drop off a load of models that I've had shipped to her house. So I think I probably got about 10 models coming on Friday, um, probably more than that. Um, so there's lots and lots of space to expand my collection. 
So we'll start at the top. At the top here, you can see um, that we've got Barrington and Voyeur, and then we have a couple of stud spiders. This really gorgeous vintage custom, she's older than me. Um, she's absolutely beautiful, mohaired um, stud spider done to a lovely um, like Swedish trotter or Swedish draft horse. Um, we've got Lucky there as well. This shelf, a little bit of random stuff that couldn't fit anywhere else. Um, look, Beltane, who's super cute, and some of my spirit horses. Um, and this guy. Now, this guy doesn't look that special unless you know about your paddock pals. So this um, little horse here is obviously just the paddock pal um, spotted drafter. But he's... Ooh, Beltane is really wobbly. Oops. Um, he's meant to have a white stripe. Um, and my one doesn't, as you can see. I just bought him for a couple of quid um, in the Utley Horses shop. I haven't yet seen a single other one without a white stripe. I've done Facebook posts and said, like, does anyone else have one like this? And I haven't seen any. So he looks very, very simple, but he's actually kind of special. I just knocked a load of folds on the floor. How did I even do that? I think I did it with my skirt. How impressive. This is the joy of Schleich. Right, um, down here, we've got a lovely grazing mare, Andromeda, my beautiful unicorn custom, um, a few ponies in Americas. This super cool Schleich bull undeniably awesome i'm just going to rescue these ponies there we go ponies we can just pop you there you're fine um then we have my ethereals so um, we have the full set of the four ethereals and then we have calavera and noche buena as well um then my wonderful um shire geldings i have the glossy benelli um coming he's at my mum's house so uh he'll be here soon and they're obviously <laughs> they're gonna have to move onto another shelf when he comes uh, but then you have um the original um premier club you've got the best of british and of course last year's holiday horse as well um <laughs> this little dude just gets to live on the shelf by himself at the moment because he didn't fit where i wanted to put him right we're going to go up the top over here so i'm gonna have to stand on a stool um, it is like the wobbliest stool as well, which is like super not safe. Okay, so we have my Drama Llamas, uh, the original Drama Llama, and then Moondance and Namib as well. Then we have my Weather Girls, so the original four um, plus two of um, the like actual rainbow models. I sold my matte one, and now I just have a glossy and a translucent. And um, my custom, uh, Sana, who's a haired dead brown custom. She's a beautiful bay blanket with an amazing face market. Um, a couple of my lovely stock horses, some Kennebec counts. I'm, I'm on a stool, so I can't like, look properly. <laughs> um, and then my Wyatt's, obviously the original. Um, and then we've got Baby Flo. And I've completely forgotten the name of the glossy one. Don't expect me to remember the names of any of these models. It's really just a lot. And then at the front, we have my G2 Appaloosa Conga. I genuinely have not counted them in ages. So you can see all of my G2 Appaloosas all the way down. All the way down. So many G2 Appaloosas. Um, a lot of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say about that other than I have a hoarding issue. <laughs> Yay, Congring. And there are like some drafters, like right at the back, little mini drafters. And we'll look at the top there as well. That there's, there's Poppy and Julian. So if we go down, we've got gem twists, we've got some random Barbie horses. I did tell you that I had a lot of uh, reared models. Um, some standard breads, um, some um, lovely um, uh, gypsy cobs. Look, Harley, who's so pretty. Um, and then my beloved Bobby Joes. I absolutely love this mould. It's like my favourite mould. Um, so some OFs, this beautiful, beautiful custom by Frances Stevens. Um, Spectrum, who is finally out of her box and like she's amazing. And then this guy <laughs> at the end. Um, we have my G2 Clydesdales down the front. So lots and lots of G2 Clydesdales. There we go. Um, this is the one of Ferrero Rocher. This is like a really early Claire Stokes custom and I absolutely love him. Um, and he was like one of my first customs and I think he's really cute. We have my Crystal Moon ponies, um, of which there are a few. A lot of them are really badly broken because um, they're just so fragile because they're made of FIMO. Um, people started giving me these as well, so I just like ended up with some random ones that people gave me, uh, but mostly they're ones I bought. I'm going to have to get down off this stool. I'm going to die. There we go. Um, we have my Aquarium Shetland Foals. Again, I, you can buy these so cheaply. I just started buying them for like five quid off people at shows. Uh, no, I've got quite a lot. And then on to some stable mates. Uh, this guy will never ever, it doesn't matter what shelf you put him on, it was exactly the same as the old house. If he faces the other way, he will not stand up. But if you face him bum way, 
always stands up, doesn't matter what shelf he's on. Uh, no idea why. Absolutely beautiful custom Arab. Um, I don't really have any custom Arabs, so I invested in this one last year instead of going to Breakfast, uh, obviously. Um, I got lots of money back from my flights, so I spent it on model horses, which seemed very reasonable. Um, some little Peter Stone chips. Ooh. There's, um, I should say, if you're worried about what I'm standing on, it's actually just photo backgrounds that are on the ground. Because uh, I don't know where to put them, because I still haven't sorted my house out. More Peter Stone chips. Senor carrots! We love Senor carrots. Um, some more customs and some little stable mates down there as well. Uh, this is marijuana. <laughs> Funny. Um, right, down here we have some drafters. So we have obviously my nice little Belgium. Um, she's beautiful. And then we have all of my um, winter songs. And um, so we've got like, the original winter song. And then we've got um, the Four Seasons collection and winter. Um, I've got a glossy summer and I obviously have a glossy fall. I don't have a glossy spring, um, which I need. And then we have Ash at the end. And then um, we obviously have the unicorn whose name I can't remember. And then we have my Smarty Jonesies. Um, I have a lot of Deb Brown custom Smarty Joneses because they're amazing. Um, so we have Kato um, is a custom Deb Brown. Um, then that's the OF kind of Then we have Brutus and Spartacus, who, um, if you've been to UK shows, you've probably met Spartacus and probably Brutus as well, who are like brothers. Um, Spartacus is a lot of a richer bay than Brutus. Brutus is a bit of a duller colour. There's my Frankel, um, it's the original Smarty Jones, um, who is in this like really weird Japanese costume that's broken. Um, this is uh, San Francisco Sundance, or Zane, um, another gorgeous Deb Brown custom. Then we have um, the Dark Horse Surprise and Windtalker as well. Um, then this random foal that needs to be taken downstairs and put with the rest of the foals. Then we have um, the start of the Schleich and Collector. And honestly, I didn't realise how many I have, but I have so many. It's insane. Beautiful, beautiful custom by Holly Mason. Um, we have a few magpies at the back. Um, then just lots and lots of Schleich and Collector. More Schleich and Collector. Those aren't Schleich and Collector. Um, more Schleich and Collector. More Schleich and Collector. More Schleich and Collector. More Schleich and Collector. And guess what? More Schleich and Collector. You're going to be bored of the Schleich and Collector at the end of this. If we go down, we have my show jumping warm bloods. So at the end, we have JJ. He's a Deb Brown custom. And then we have Adam. He's a Kim Bird custom. And then we have my OFs. Um, I won this guy in a raffle. He's actually really sweet. His name is Mountain. Uh, then we have obviously Jewel. Um, everyone loves Phantom. Hopefully he still works. Oh no, look. He finally ran out of battery. How disappointing is that? That is that is an anticlimax. We have to change his batteries. Um, and then of course we have Ballino. Uh, then we have my Fighting Stallions. This gorgeous Deb Brown custom that I, again, bought with my Brea Fest money. Absolutely stunning. Um, and I bought this guy from Brea Fest as well, from Brea. Um, lovely, lovely fighter. Um, a couple of Carricks. And some little running mares. At the front, we have more Schleich Collector, Bully Land, all that kind of stuff. Really nice custom by Deb Brown um, on the Collector Shirefall. We have some Shadow Ponies at the back. And then we have the start of the like things that aren't horses. How cool is this leopard seal? It's genuinely amazing. Um, there are a lot of these. There are more downstairs. All these geese. Um, someone just gave me these geese. Uh, <laughs> people give me stuff all the time. Um, and then I just like, oh my God, that's amazing. Um, and then some more dogs and things like that. Randy, a llama. I bought that llama from Brea last year. I was like, I need a llama. This cute little chihuahua. Um, down the bottom, we have some random like Barbie style horses. Um, we have my Cleveland Bays. This is Donald Trump because he's orange. Casper, who um, I bought um, when I got some money for doing well in my GCSEs, which show you how old he is. Um, then we've got my um, Nikotas, my Roxies. And look what I did to my Roxy. I was taking photos in the snow and she fell off a wall. Um, it could be touched up, but still. Um, and then my ruffians. And look at the front, more Schleich and Collector. Like, I have a genuine issue. That's a magpie, so that's okay. Um, there are a few Brea Paddock Pals as well, so they're a bit yellowed. <laughs> look how many are. Oh dear, I have issues. That one's a custom, so that's fine. We're we'll allowed customs. I need to stop hoarding. Right then, at the top, um, we've got, look at this guy. This lovely, lovely vintage here. Um, 
and then we have my giant Folzillas. So I've got the three original Camillas and Espresso. Um, and then my Smart Chicolinas and Mini Winners. Most of them are still standing up. I did actually manage to get, I've got photo proof. I managed to get them all stood up. It was amazing. Um, but then, as you can see, I had to put some more horses on these shelves. And they all fell over, so. Um, some more random other animals at the back there. So some calves. A goat. I bought that goat at BMAX, at the last BMAX, because I wanted it. Uh, my spirit and, um, uh, um, but yeah. Uh, sorry, my video like just stopped recording there, so uh, we're having to start again. <laughs> we'll smush them together. Um, then we've got um, my uh, Giselles. So we've got uh, my breakfast surprise horse. I ended up with two the same. And then, of course, we have Lisa, who, if you go to UK shows, you've probably met. It's gorgeous dead brown custom. More mini winnies, my lovely mohead mini winnie. I definitely need to do more mohead mini winnies, and they are adorable. And some more. And then we have some stable mates. Um, so some of the new shrinkies, um, obviously that's chips. <laughs> um, some more stable mates, more stable mates. And then if we go down here, we have uh, some Mustangs and a Cody. Uh, this is Gabrielle, he's beautiful. We have Oak, of course, very nice. And there's like the random magazine horse. Uh, then we have this fish thing uh, and this uh, shark. And we have this gorgeous custom I did last year. Like, I'm not saying that I'm amazing, but look how beautiful she is. I love her to pieces. And some more OFs, um, my little mini Alborozos. So some of the newer mold OFs and uh, older mold OFs as well. Um, then we have, I'm going to step down. My lady phases. So we've got the treasure hunt lady phases and then a few extras as well that I've acquired over the years. And these two who are both stunning. I mean, look at the colour on the Western horses. They're both absolutely gorgeous colours. It's just such a pity about the mould. But so pretty. Um, some mini winnie foals, most of which are still standing up. And then um, some little G3 and illusions right into the corner there. You can sort of see the one that's in right in the corner. Go down a shelf. Whoopsies. There's a Schleich stable on the floor as well. This is kind of making things difficult. Uh, we've got my Vallegros. So that is Champagne in the corner. Absolutely gorgeous custom. And then we have Utopia, who's a dead brown portrait of the real Utopia. Um, we also have a dinosaur. Uh, we have my Celtic Salineros. So we've got Vardades and Celtic Salinero. Then we have Cheesecake and a piece of stone thoroughbred. Down here. We have Saxophone, who you probably haven't seen because he used to spend all his time boxed. He's a Northlight um, Appaloosa. He got smashed so badly. Like, literally his head came off, but Arla Keen did such an incredible job repairing him. Absolutely amazing. Um, stock horses. So, um, three from the Stock Horse Treasure Hunt and then just a random grey. And my Peterstone Arabs. This is my favourite, this Sangria here. Can you see, like, those Rabicano markings? Absolutely lush. And some little foleys down the bottom. Look, some fairies. We'll do the stables uh, at the end of this room. Right, let's go up to the top. So, up the top we have um, some classics. So most of the classics are downstairs, um, but there are a few odd ones upstairs. It's also a dog. <laughs> and there's Bridget as well. Just random stuff at the top. Um, then we've got my Gofoots, um, including Crystalline, who is undeniably stunning. Um, some Clydesdales. This is one of the Copper Fox resins. So this is actually, I mean, it's basically solid resin. So this is Dharma. Um, they're beautifully painted by Deb Brown. Um, I bought the blank resin last year and um, got Deb to paint it. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, some mini winnies. So many mini winnies. Uh, down a shelf. Um, some little halflingers, some Peter Stone ponies. This is, of course, King Arthur. So my business commissioned um, King Arthur from Peter Stone. So there were 15 made and I've got number one. My in-between mare! Oh my God, if you'd said to me like two years ago that I was going to own an in-between mare, I'd have told you you were a complete liar. I, lo oh, I love her so much. And I got like definitely the best colour, Glossy Bay. Oh, love a Glossy Bay. Uh, Icelandics. These little cuties, you get these in surprise bags and I'm obsessed with them. They're adorable. Um, some more mini winnies. This is like one of my favourite mini winnie moulds. I mean, how beautiful is this little rearing mould? It's adorable. Um, most of these, well, four of these, were actually the counters in a board game. I took them out and replaced them with coloured stones so they get to live on my shelf. And then we have some uh, Peruvian Passos and little mini Vallegros as well. 
we go down, we've got Marla Tigos, all four of them. Um, Mystic, who I know everyone always wants to see lots and lots of shots of Mystic. So he's a Kilimanjaro resin, um, painted by myself. Um, there's a whole history as to why he's painted this colour, about how like the woman who did my wedding cake completely ruined it and ruined my entire wedding, but we don't hate her. And then he has um, crystals all over him as well, he's, so he's stunning. Um, we're moving on to some of the breakable stuff. So this is the sturdiest um, shelving in the whole house. Um, it's affixed to the wall, so everything breakable basically goes on these shelves. So um, these gorgeous boxing shires. This was my Christmas present from my parents. Isn't he lovely? Absolutely stunning. And isn't he gorgeous too? Absolutely lovely. I bought him at a live show a few years ago. Lovely. Um, my mules. I love my mules. So my little muley corn. This is a little one painted by me um, as some others and like a little hat. Um, oh, lovely little custom by Linda Elcher. Very beautiful. Uh, G3 Highlands. Um, some scratching folds. And then some more mini winnies. So we've got our jumpers that take up a stupid amount of space. These ones. I think I've got a spare one of these bases downstairs, so I might swap one of these. Um, and then some more mini winnies. And if we go down, we get like the super fragile shelves, like super fragile. Um, so this is where like my animal artistry trees and all my resins and chinas are. Um, I only have three traditional resins. So you've met Dharma and Kilimanjaro and Brandus is down the bottom. The rest of them are all basically classic scale and smaller. I think it's like one classic, um, no, a few more classics and then mainly like small ones. Um, so we've got um, my lovely fjords. If I can just carefully show you. This fjord has um, like hearts in his mane, which is just beautiful. I painted him last year, got him off Donna. Absolutely stunning. Uh, this year's Namo Pemo horse, frog. Wonderful name. Um, if I show you, oh, I can't really see. You can see Guy has got like sparkles in his mane. Absolutely stunning. Um, some more resins and chinas. Um, yeah, lovely. <laughs> like that's like my only AA resin now, Daffodil. Uh, some more, there are some more, there are some more. And of course we have my micros. Um, so most of these are painted by me. This is Fjordy McFjordy face. <laughs> and this is maple stirrup. <laughs> such funny names and um, so I arrange these by color so these are my duns and then we've got you can see my greys um apart from the mares because they're like in a conga and they have to be in a conga so yeah annoying and the foals um so we've got a few more here a few more here this is like necronova who I absolutely love that's a custom mini winnie so a few custom mini winnies on here as well so these are the bays this really lovely um custom mini winnie with the like skulky cart by Teresa Johnson um some decorators um you can't really see the shimmer on him very well but he's all shimmery um my chestnuts absolutely love them this is my favorite um this is samba and as you can see she's clipped i absolutely love off the track thoroughbreds and the yard i used to work at had like tons of chestnut eventers um uh, most of them by chilly morning and i just i just i painted her when i was working there because i think i sort of inherited the obsession with chestnut eventers um, and then we have achilles patroclus and brashia um, who obviously have those names and they have to live together. Obviously Achilles and Patroclus have to live together. Um, and some more spotty spotty bums. So uh, down. Okay, so down on the next breakable shelf. I think my phone has like, decided we're going to have a limit on how long I can film for, which is just rude. Um, this really cute like haired purple winged AA. Um, Herodites, who is my best show horse. Um, in terms of accumulative points so he's the one that's won me the most he's had two supremes um everyone knows him he was a present from my dog uh, she's very generous um but i've had him for a long time some fuzzy foals uh some some larger resins painted by me uh, more aa chinas uh, my venuses and my we wedding cake toppers so for those of you who don't know i had aa chinas on the top of my wedding cake so that's me that's katrina and then this spotty guy here that's brendan and then that was brandy so the foal is actually legitimately painted to have brandy's markings on a foal um I, i've only once had someone at a show go why has it got spotty legs <laughs> and me go it's because it's based on a dog not a horse <laughs> but you know she's cute um my painted medallions i have more unpainted ones than painted this cute little foal that i absolutely love it's beautiful um some drafters and my stable mate lying down foals from horsing around that I'm obsessed with. I have genuine obsession issues. So if we go down, you can see my third traditional resin, which is my Brandis resin. Um, it's 
a stereotypical black, obviously, for a Frisian. There's also a beluga whale. Um, we've got my secessions. This really cool, like, dead brown custom, like, um, Native American on a horse, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then some more breakable things. This guy, um, I wish I could find the photo, the before and after photos, but I don't know where they've gone. I bought this guy at auction and he was like filthy. Like he was like brown with dirt. And I, so I sat there with a toothbrush and cleaned him up and look how beautifully white this bisque is. Absolutely stunning. So I absolutely love him. He's really pretty. Um, then we've got some little trotting foals and a few more breakable things. So basically try and keep everything breakable on here. Right, I'm going to have to move my stool and we will go up to the top of the next shelves without me dying. I don't like doing this anywhere near the breakables. Hate it. Right. Okay, up to the top. So um, in the corner, we've got some big bends. So we have what I, <laughs> I'm calling the reject corners. Um, I'm going to have to move these around before I start showing again, but I've tried to put moulds that I don't show in the corners. But if I get my camera, in the corner there, you can see some schleich. Um, oh, and a Peter Stone Pebbles as well. There we go. I sort of don't really know what's in the corners. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, you've got Veronica's Vodka that I literally just bought because of the name. Uh, a few others, my glossy collector's club wings, which like, oh my, sorry, the, uh, this is getting very annoying. I just had to delete like half the stuff on my phone because apparently I got no storage. How rude. Right. Um, then we have my silvers. As you can probably see, my silvers are doubled up, so we can't see the ones behind. So we're just going to look at the ones in front. Um, so we have Leandro, we have my Ahote variation. Okay. So we have, um, Herrick here, another lovely Kim Bird custom. Um, yeah, more <laughs> more silvers. Pantaloon, who looks like he's wearing trousers. And then we have uh, my Andalusian stallions at the end. So we have my lovely gay pride um, circus costume. And then we have Tempest, who's my custom. And guess what we have at the front? More Schleich and Collector. More, more Schleich and Collector. Those are my little ponies, so they don't count. More like collector paddock pally things. Uh, this chain that the shelf was giving me anxiety, so now there's a chain. Apparently that's fine now. It's fine. It's a chain. It's fine. Um, more like collector, like and collector. Um, okay, so down here in this reject corner, we have um, my Lonesome Glories. Um, this custom here by Deb Brown is a portrait of Jack Naylor, who is a racehorse named after my favourite character from Holby City. So I obviously had to have a portrait of her on the mare variation of the Lonesome Glory mould. Um, there's Badger, who's <laughs> like really weird, super cute custom. Um, my Totalises. Um, my Glossy King, who was like last, not last year's, so year four's um, Collector's Club model. Um, this really cute like prize model, not prize model, volunteer model, absolutely lush. Move the chain out of the way. Um, we've got my warm blood stallions. This felty, which is super cute. Um, my flashes, flashy, flashy, flashies, um, including my volunteer model from last year. And all the way down, I, I'm going to have to get the stool. And my esprits, including my wonderful mohair one by Deb Brown, that is absolutely stunning. Esprit looks so good with mohair uh, because the mane is just too much, I think, um, for me. So, like with mohair, he looks really pretty. Um, then we have my brighty, who I love. Um, at the front, we have like random selection. We have my bloaty. Um, so this is BB. <laughs> BB has head issues, <laughs> as you can probably see. Everyone's got to have a bloaty in their collection. That's mine. Like compared to like skinny horse here. Looks so funny. Um, this really lovely um, custom um, by Sophie Lightfoot. Um, some little furly furs. Um, some more mini winnies because obviously I don't have enough. Um, although technically these are not mini winnies, so that's fine. Um, my little midnight tangos. We're moving on to some juleps because I have a lot of juleps. Um, so um, there's some vintage ones up here, like this lovely um, vintage saddlebred. And um, <laughs> going into the corner, um, there are some horse of the year models um, as an aquarium. Yeah, <laughs> reject corner. Okay, so let's go down. Um, as you can see, we've got more in the reject corners. Um, like, this is a show model, so I don't know why I put him there, which is really stupid. Uh, but anyway, 
Um, Sunshine, who um, is an Deb Brown custom, um, it cost me £20, very, very bargaining. Um, I really like this one's show name, he's called, what's he called? Moon Pilot, I just think that's a nice name. Normally my names are stupid, so, you know, like, Gary! This is Gary! <laughs> Good old Gary. <laughs> we love Gary. Um, some saddlebreds, we love saddlebreds. Um, again, really, really cheap Deb Brown custom, 20 quid. Um, some lovely ones. Um, Moo Woods, who is so glossy and shiny and chestnutty, so pretty. Um, uh, Andalusian mares, uh, Connemara mares, um, so Sable Island horse, the original Connemara, uh, Banks Vanilla. This is Eleanor, who is another Deb Brown custom. I have a lot of Deb Brown customs, and of course, um, Cypress as well. And down the front, we have sort of classic foals or like um, traditional pony foals. So it's lovely little custom by Classics there. Um, yeah, more classic foals, more foals. Oh look, more foals, shock news. Um, and then we have some julep foals. Um, so just like the standard julep foal moles, including fluffy squash and my little fjord. So there's Felicity Fjord and um, Kisse. Um, some little Andalusian mares, nice and very nice custom. Uh, more random stable mates, stable mates, a uh, little copper fox, um, little copper fox 3D printed one. This guy fell off a shelf and lost an ear, but you know, happens to the best of us. Uh, more stable mates, more stable mates. <laughs> Look, more stable mates. Um, really nice uh, custom mule. Uh, more stable mates, more stable mates. Look, more stable mates, more stable mates, more stable mates. All the way into the corner. <laughs> so we have saddlebreds. You can barely see chicken pox. I'm going to have to take you in. Can you see the horse with like chickens all over him? <laughs> His name is Chicken Box. He's hilarious. Uh, and Paddy, who you've probably seen if you've um, been to UK shows. So down here, uh, again, we've got corner issues. So we've got my Kickstarter Copper Fox Exmoor. Um, we've got um, some Cantering Welsh ponies. We've got this thing that I bought last year off eBay. It's covered in diamantes. <laughs> hilarious. Um, so some more shams. Another of the Claxus Club glossies you can't really see, um, but that's Bandera in glossy. And some more ponies. I'm just sat on a stool now. I've given up standing. Uh, my mules. I love my mules. Um, this is Siegfried. Uh, he's very beautiful. Um, then we, <laughs> then we have uh, my Huckleberry Bays. I think I've got like two left with bases, as you can probably tell. Um, most of them are broken bases. Look, it's a fixed base. Um, so Leonardo, who looks more wedged than he is, he's not actually touching anyone, um, is a lovely Deb Brown custom. Um, and he obviously has a custom base. And then Valentine has a base. Um, and then Giverny and Black Tie Fair don't have bases. Well, they do, they're just broken. Uh, then there's Romance, um, who has that, someone drilled the base into him. Um, Huck doesn't have a base. Polaris still has a base. <laughs> Nutcracker Bank Prince, no base. Um, so two have still got their original bases. Um, you've got my um, Shagar Arab mares, my Yasmins. Um, genuinely impressed that this unicorn is still stood up. She normally isn't, so that's quite impressive. Um, of course we have Acorn. So for those of you who don't know, I bought Acorn for £20, not even £20 I think, as a body. And then I took him to a show and he got custom champion. So he's um, definitely a special horse and he still goes to shows and he still does quite well. Um, then we've got some sort of aquariums and juleps, some really vintage juleps, my vintage um, donkeys and some more recent ones. Um, some Schleich Knights, there are more of these downstairs. And like ridden horses and fairy horses and stuff like that. Some more donkeys. Uh, this this random broken stable mate that's just living there. Um, some more juleps. Um, the infamous Schmexy, uh, who obviously did very well at shows. And if you go all the way down, <laughs> it's like more juleps. Oh, to the corner. Um, some like the Clydesdale foals and things like that. Right. Oh, we're nearly done with the pony room. My phone's going to have a meltdown because it's going to just tell me I've got like no storage left. Okay, so in the corner there, we have Indian ponies that you can't really see. Um, so we've got the 70th anniversary one and we've got Isabel and we've also got the Great Spirit Horse. Is that the Great Spirit Horse? Oh, I can't remember. I genuinely don't. I don't even remember getting that model. I think I got him in a collector's club box. No idea. Um, we have, oh, so if I can put my flash on actually, should I put my flash on? There we go. Well, that's better. Then we can see in the reject corner. Um, we have this wonderful Rabicano um, custom Cobb Fox Welsh Cobb. It's a bit bright now. 
turn it off now. Um, we have my Belgiums, um, ooh, Ashquas, um, this is Shahai. Um, ever since I saw that image of that horse that's doing exactly the same pose as Ashqua, I wanted a custom of it. Um, so literally the moment he came out as a regular run, I commissioned one of Deb Brown um, back in 2018 and got one because I just like, had to have one. Um, my Rejoices, Five Gators, some Marabellas, um, oh, my jumping horses. This guy is super, super special. So when I started Chestnut Ridge, um, I had this guy for sale and my granddad wanted to support me. So he wanted to buy a horse and he wanted to buy this one because it was National Velvet's Pie. Um, he um, had to move into a care home a few years ago. So I obviously took Pie back, um, but he's got a huge amount of sentimental value because like, it was really nice to have that support when I started my business. Um, yeah, uh, Sherman Morgans, um, the three like um, Fligri come ones and the um, Justin Morgan, Sherman Morgan um, original. Then we've got seven million stable mates. Um, so we've got, what have we got? We've got G2 Warmbloods, we've got G3 Arabs, uh, G3 Warmbloods. Um, we've got, um, oh look, some Copper Foxes. <laughs> They're not stable mates. Um, some Jangos, um, we've got G2 Morgans. Uh, we've got G2 Thoroughbreds that are weirdly still stood up, which is like genuine miracle. Like, how are they stood up? Uh, G2 Andalusians. And then more Juleps, because you can never have enough Juleps, as far as I'm concerned. And Dave, who's an Aquarium Quagga. And then in this reject corner, it's just stuff that could break. So, <laughs> so I hid it in the corner. Can't fall on the floor if it's in the corner. Right, shall I show you my stables before we leave the pony room and go on a fun adventure around the house? Okay, so down here, um, we have the picnic area um, and we have some donkeys. Big Daddy is in there at the moment as well, my Shetland, um, because I ousted him from his stable. So he has to live in there. Um, then we have Tempe, Itzy and Jetsam. Then we have Indigo, Hattie and of course Crackers. Let's all go say hello to Crackers. Here he is in his stable. You can see his, look, he's got his name on his door. Move that photo base out of the way. Oh, yes, killed a doll. Then we have Firefly, Minstrel, and um, Billy. Open this door that's on the wrong way. We have John and Perseus. And uh, Baloo is like doing backflips. Don't ask me why. Um, I converted these stables into a little hay barn. Um, so this is now like a little hay barn and um, food storage room. Um, and if we go down here, there's Hank. Um, if we take the lid off. So um, this is now more of like a kind of prep room for feeds and like a grooming room and just a storage area for those chickens. And then we have mist, clove and mocha in our stables. Right out. Should we go on an adventure into the rest of the house? Let's go on an adventure. Okay, so our adventure has taken us into the bedroom because there are so many model horses around the house that there are literally model horses in the bedroom. Um, I told you there would be a lot of Schleich and Collector. Look, there are more. <laughs> there are so many that are in the bedroom now. Uh, this is absolutely stunning. Like, how beautiful is this model? Like, absolutely gorgeous. Um, look, whilst we're here, you might as well see some Brea plushies because, like, obviously I have to sleep with, like, Brea plushies all around me. <laughs> um, on top of the wardrobe are some of my boxed copper foxes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six boxed copper foxes up there. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones, but you can read some of the boxes yourself. And then we also have Bubba, who is a giant one six scale felty um, Suffolk punch. He is massive. Um, he's in that huge box there as well. Okay, so you join me now in the things what aren't painted part of my collection. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the unpainted resins and chinas. I currently have about 50 unpainted resins and chinas, as well as loads of other bodies. Um, so these are medallions under here as well. So many medallions. Um, then I've got this guy is in progress. So it's going to be a silver dapple. And then there's two unpainted resins here. There's this one and there is the Icelandic. Um, if we go down... Um, these are the rest of my unpainted resins and chinas, mainly micros. So I'm in Maggie Bennett's micro club, as you can probably tell. I got my I got my latest delivery today. 
Um, but yeah, all of these obviously need painting. So I just thought I'd show you these guys as well. Uh, so they are technically part of my collection. They just haven't had their clothes yet. Um, and there's another shelf of bodies underneath that as well. <laughs> so many bodies. Okay, so we're, we're now on the landing. And as you can see, the, the previous owners left me the shelf, which is the perfect size for more Schleich and Collector and some WAAs. So they don't count. And actually some My Beautiful Horses too. Um, so we have this random shelf on the stairs just full of Schleich and Collector. Um, old house means lots of cobwebs. So it doesn't matter how often I dust, everything's covered in cobwebs. And then on top of that, we also have, look, I live on a cliff. Um, these two who are just like at the top of the stairs which is just random I put them there when I was unpacking and now they just live there so we'll go on an adventure uh, into the rest of the house and see some more so we have um, down here we have the white tail deer set um, absolutely love these guys I think they're beautiful as you can see absolutely caked in dust um, and then we have elephant Laura bought me this elephant he is adorable and then if we continue on our adventure this is my trophy cabinet. So if we just move this crystal and this plant pot, there's no plant in, and carefully open up. You can see, um, so these are basically everything that's not a rosette that I've worn in a live show and that can fit in the trophy cabinet. Um, so you can see lots and lots of my AA heads, um, lots of medallions, a Robin Hood's head, um, glassware, trophies, medallions, dogs, models, resins, chinas, um, everything you could possibly win. Um, I would like to start a petition to ban these plastic trophies from live shows. <laughs> like, look how many of them are. There are like thousands of them, literally thousands. Um, and loads of random other stuff as well, like this pumpkin and this little badge here. Um, I've put a lot of the random stuff into the trophies just to try and clear some space. But there's some pretty cool, like, odd little things in here um, that I've won over the years, which is quite nice. There's a whole shot of my whole trophy cabinet. I do need a bigger trophy cabinet, I will admit that. Ooh, uh, door develops a life of its own then. Okay, so along here we have a little a little special extra that I've added in, which is my boomerang shelf. How cool is this? So you've got my Brea boomerangs and also like my other mold boomerangs. If we open it up, you can sort of see inside the door doesn't fully open because there's a fireplace in the way, but it's fine. Um, and then we also have um, nature, who is this like stunning custom classic with like feathers and rocks all over her. We have this Sicilian papier-mâché donkey cart, um, which has to live in here. And Zeus, my Robin Ed's unicorn, also lives in here because it's the only place I can make sure he stands up all the time because he's like wedged against the glass bars. And whilst we're in here, you might as well have a look at Brendan's collection. Uh, this is not his. This is Ronald the Ram. It is not his. He has decided it is his. It is not. Um, but you see he's got his two clear wares and his two bulls. Right then, we're gonna go into uh, the lounge and look at some classics. Okay, so um, we're now in the lounge. I'll just give you an idea of like what's going on here, as you can see, um, where we have most of my classics um, and also all of my rubber neds apart from Zeus. So um, at the top here, these are not classics. These are my newsworthies. Um, again, I've got another one coming. I've got my glossy top gun obviously coming um, this week as well. Um, we've got my beloved zebra. We've got some, uh, just my eccentric horses, like Cupcake, who is absolutely amazing. Like, who doesn't love Cupcake? Um, this is Marlo. He is a custom Deb Brown Hackney he head and stunning. Um, some more, I mean, how cute is this Galisenio? I don't, I can never remember which one was Tony De Pony and which one was Bugsy Maloney. Um, but absolutely stunning. Doesn't look a thing like the real horse, but very pretty. Um, this was a Namo horse from a few years ago. Um, there's more there. Um, then we've got my rubber Neds. So we've got Charles at the end, and then we have Fiori and then Murano. Um, so for those who don't know, my rubber Neds all have themes in their names. So um, these guys are always named after um, Italian glass. Of course they are. So Millie Fiore and Murano Samosa. Um, these guys are named after Greek kings. So we have Agamemnon, Laertes, and Midas. 
Everyone's very like hairy all over each other. <laughs> they're all like very close together as well, which they genuinely don't need to be. I feel like they've all just like decided they want to be friends. Um, the Arab mares always have um, enchanted. So we have enchanted song dance, Emily. Emily was my first rubber Ned. Um, and then we have enchanted snowstorm or duchess. Um, these guys are always named after, oh, that's the dust, are named after um, like craft beers. So um, we have Bomb de Soleil, we have Hobgoblin, and we have Pandemonium. So that's Parrot, Goblin, and um, Isabella. Isabella was named before I got her, which is why she then got another name. Um, we'll have a look at the little ones um, on a different shelf, but those are the big ones, and they obviously desperately need dusting. Then we have some juleps. So um, we have King Arthur, who is this gorgeous julep heavy shire. Um, this is my Rydal, um, Prince Caspian. So um, he is obviously very, very treasured and very important. We have a couple of vintage. What I didn't show you upstairs is I have a ton more vintage juleps that are kept in individual boxes. So I have some shelved and some boxed. Um, and I'm never sure. No, I don't think anyone's ever sure what's the best thing to do with juleps and uh, preserve them. Uh, but that's what I do. Uh, this is Bahahi. Um, who is an I got him at the same time as King Arthur um, and then we have um, Bishu one of my unicorns and then this little unicorn whose name I can't remember who I got last year um, and there's some more juleps and then my aquarium heavies and obviously at the bottom we have 8,000 rabbits and uh, the guinea pigs are all like most of these are portraits of my own guinea pigs um, which is super cute um, I need to get Geralt done um, my new one um, and there's some like guinea pigs and rabbits on there as well. Then we've got sort of traditional foals. Um, so we've got our like uh, running foals, standing foals, ambers, um, uh, you know, our lafayers, our draft foals, all of those kind of things. Um, we've got our bouncers and more random animals in front. Look, look how fat this cat is. <laughs> it's so fat. Oh, so funny. Um, <laughs> Um, mini rearing classics and um, so this is obviously where I'm keeping most of my classics uh, more classics uh, so bucking broncos and another random dog because why not uh, some more classics various different molds um, lots lots of classics more classics and some more like dogs and a, a kiwi obviously there is a kiwi um, at the front and um, my duchesses um, this one is a night light and it actually lights up. If the thing was the other way, I'd show you, but it's the wrong way around. More classics, more classics. And um, some of my spirit like collector horses. Look, some wild boar. I do live in the Forest of Dean, so, you know, gotta have wild boar. Um, one of my new shadow ponies, um, as well as like, obviously I've got all the old ones as well. More classics, more classics, more classics, more classics. And guess what? More classics. Some more classics. This is one of the ones that I unboxed that I think I've had for about 16 years in a box that <laughs> he got to come out, which was very exciting for him. Uh, some more classics, some more classics. Oh, look, more classics. Those aren't classics. These are Misty's. There we go. Um, I showed you that custom fold by Claire Stokes. Um, this is the mum to go with it, obviously. Um, more classics, more classics, more classics, more classics, more classics, more classics. And then if we look above the door... Um, the rabbit just locked itself out of its own cage. There we go. It's opened its door again. Um, we have Schleich Falls above the door. And then more Schleich Falls on the beams. If you're going to have beams, you might as well put Schleich on them. That's my attitude. Um, Include my golden donkey. How cute. Right. And then you've probably already seen, if we go back here, um, as well as a giant dead animal on my wall, because, you know, I am eccentric. I, one does have to own a dead animal. Um, we have more classics. <laughs> Um, some stave mate foals. That stave mate foal needs to come down and join them that you saw earlier. Um, again, some vintage tulips. My Mr. Z like donkey that's adorable. Um, and some more like these little vintage tulips. Like this is Dr. Zhivago. Um, my julep yearlings, um, including this cute little foal with like spiky up mane. Um, and then we have my smaller rubber neds. Um, so these guys are all named after um, German kings. I cannot remember this one. That's Louis. And then we have um, Albert. No. Yeah, Albert. Cannot remember. And then Wilhelm. These two are new in my defence. Um, and then we have my foals. Um, these all have um, peregrine in their names. So we have peregrine noir. Peregrine something to do with elves that I can't remember. Um, peregrine barnacle. 
Peregrine Waterhorse, Peregrine Pipsqueak, Peregrine Byrant or Bacon to his friends, and Peregrine Darkseid, who's obviously a lovely little Star Wars custom. Um, these ones are named after bicycles. So this is Penny Farthing, and this is something beginning with M that I can't remember off the top of my head. You can tell I haven't been showing in ages, because if you're not showing, you just forget their names, which is really, really bad. I'm sorry. There's a vintage tulip. Um... These are all um, have Della Noche. So we have Bailarin Della Noche, Estrella Della Noche and Tormenta Della Noche um, in their names. Um, this one is obviously stunning. It's like a little circus pony um, with feathers. And um, these guys are named after insects. So this is Bumblebee. And I know that they have the Latin name for the insects, but I can't remember what they are. Um, Bombus something. Um, and this one, I know it's a Latin name for a butterfly, but I can't remember what it is. I'm really sorry genuinely <laughs> again it's like new models genuinely cannot remember what this one's called or what it's named after um and then we have um coriolanus so obviously if i had any more they'd be shakespeare plays and constable again if we had any more they would be landscape artists um gray goose so again if there were any more they would be vorticas and um Idarin pur so if there were any more it would be other welsh songs there we go so those are like all my tinier rubber neds smaller rubber neds um, some more Schleich Knights as well. And then up here on this shelf, we have um, some Schleich Fantasy and Schleich Knights, um, a few My Little Ponies, and then obviously some stable mates at the front. And then if we move across, we have my newer or good condition vintage My Little Ponies. Um, and then um, use some stable mates. You can see where I took a boomerang out to add them to the boomerang collection. Um, so like, oh, you've got my Mustang, stuff like that. Some more here, some more Mustangs, um, and some more My Little Ponies at the back. Some custom My Little Ponies. This really cool zebra that my mum brought me back from Africa, which is pretty amazing. Uh, a one-eared keychain, because why not? Um, a lovely little custom drafter, her foals upstairs, um, and some Grand Champion foals. Then at the top, we have more classics. Um, so cutting horses, Morgans, um, sort of my performance horses are here. So obviously Buckaroo is used for performance. You can see that Bulbasaur is also used for performance because he has his like wraps on. He's just done his tack on. Um, and then Kamikaze, again, yeah, used for performance. So he's got his tack on. Um, we've got my um, Emmas. So this is Millie, my beautiful custom Emma that was like the first one Deb Brown did. Um, and then I've got one by Holly Mason called Cartwheel and then obviously two OFs as well. Um, my Johars, including this really funny Fjord custom Johar, um, and then a few others there as well. And then if I just take you over, we're nearly done. Brandy is like dead to the world. Look how sleepy Brandy is. Oh, she woke up because I said that she was sleepy. Um, we have my lamp um, that came from, so originally it came from like a random antiques fair. Um, really weird things find antiques fair, fair in England. And then I bought it for my collection. And then we have a lot of my vintage My Little Ponies that were my toys when I was a child. Um, we have my beautiful Schleich um, Elephant and Griffin, because obviously I do like things that are not just the model horses. Um, and, and this is Brendan's other animal collection. Um, so these are all his ones. Um, for some reason, we have a Playmobil doll stood on top of a cow. Um, don't ask me why. Um, I think that Golden Lion is technically mine. But he does have a tendency to acquire my things. Um, so lots of like little other animals. Um, and an ornament from my grandparents' house. And finally, a few more little My Beautiful Horses. And we will end with this cabinet, which has my two dragon horses and my Schleich wagon set with a different horse on because it looks better if they're both walking. And that's it. That is the end of our collection tour. Um, that is over 2,000 model horses. I don't know how long the video is because I'm going to have to splice it together because it kept running out of storage. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video tour and I hope you enjoyed having a look at my collection. We'll finish off with a little shot of Caesar, seeing as he's here. And um, make sure to like and subscribe for more adorable videos of Caesar. No, more collection tour videos, things like that. If there are any models you want more information about that you didn't really see, anything like that, then obviously drop it in the comments and um, I will do another video and focus on those horses. Right, have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you all 
in the next video. It says bye-bye from me, and it says bye-bye from Caesar. Say bye-bye. No, he doesn't want to say bye-bye.